friends and welcome back to my channel. You can see my hand here in the mirror. Hello. This is my vanity. This is where I do my makeup every single day and it is a mess right now. I wanted to show you guys how I organize my makeup and I also wanted to clean it and I thought it'd be fun to do a little cleaning and organizing video. That way you can see like how I organize things but also I can clean. So I'll probably end up doing like a little bit of an outro at the end, but otherwise I really hope you guys enjoy this video. There's not gonna be a lot of talking. It's just gonna be a lot of you seeing me clean. So I hope you enjoy. Some of the things that stay on my vanity all the time, I have this little penguin that I got as a gift. It's like a little, I don't know, it, it holds things. Sometimes I put my beauty blenders in it. Right now it just has this like kind of worry stone thing that my friend got me and it stays in here all the time. Then I have this hand lotion all the time. It's from Savannah Bee Company and it's like a royal jelly hand I don't know, hand lotion, body lotion. It is very moisturizing and it smells so, so good. And it stays all the time on my vanity. Then I also have this little guy. It's Chip or Dale. I can't remember which one has the red nose, but um, it's from Etude House. It's a water, t it's like a one of their water jelly tints and it's like a bright red, but it doesn't fit in my other lipstick storage at all. So it just kind of sits out and it's cute enough anyway that I love having it out. I have this cup that holds all my makeup brushes in it and I will need to clean my makeup brushes at some point. It's not a today job, but at some point I will also do a video about how I clean my makeup brushes. Then I have this little sardine box. Um, I think it's so cute. I got it as a present and um, this holds a bunch of different stuff. This holds a lipstick that also doesn't fit anywhere. It's a Guerlain lipstick, actually. It holds a hair tie. It holds a little incense holder that my friend got for me from Japan. And it holds these little egg clips that I use to clip back my bangs sometimes when I'm doing my makeup. So love having this little box. So darling and precious. Then I have these felt flowers that a friend got me and also got me this boot mug and these just kind of sit on here. They just make me happy and I love seeing them every day. So sometimes they go in the little white Ikea thing, but most of the time they just sit on my actual vanity. So cute. Then I have these. Um, these are postcards from my mom and I keep them up here. I probably should put them on the wall, but I just, I love having them and I love rereading them sometimes. But yeah, they're just little postcards from my mom, from her travels. So we keep those with me all the time too. I also have a little Polaroid of me and my friend at a wedding and uh, yeah, it just makes me happy. Another thing I should probably put on the wall. Then the other thing that holds my makeup brushes is this guy from Amazon actually. And I love the three different layers because you can organize brushes so easily in it. I also need to clean all of these brushes, but this is really nice to keep like tweezers in and stuff like that. I highly recommend anything small goes in here, super easy. And of course I have my mirror, it lights up, I'll show you. Bam, super bright, love it. It also is, it has another side that's way more like magnified um i never use that side i just use the lighted side and then i have this for all my lip products so this is pretty easy i'm trying to actually pair my lip product collection down to all fit in here basically have not done that yet but for right now this holds all my lip products and of course i have this organizer as well so these are all of my like eye products um so these are all my eyeliners these are all my like liquid or stick eyeshadows these are all of my cream eyeshadows, more liquid eyeshadows, things like that. Then up here is more lip products. So this is a bunch of lip products. This is my overflow 
um, more lip products down there, see? And then this is all of my blushes, basically. So this is where all of the blushes and like duos live, if they're not ones I'm using regularly. And I love this. I've had this for a long time. I've had this specific setup for, oh goodness, four years now, I think, this exact setup. So obviously this works for me. I really like it. This is how my makeup collection works for me and how I organize it and, and how I know if I have too many things, if they don't fit in these kind of categories. Um, it's reorganized a little bit over the years, like, you know, these type of things. These used to be like all of my highlighters and they're in the drawer now and things like that, but I'll show you that in a second. I usually clean the surface off once a week, but it needed a deep clean. So I'm glad I'm finally doing that. Beautiful, everything's set back up. And now for the the main part, which is the drawer. I haven't deep cleaned the drawer in quite a bit of time, so let's just get into that. Okay, so what you see here is my makeup drawer. So this is where I keep all of the rest of my collection. So pretty easy to, to kind of understand and get. These are all of my like beauty blenders and things like that. Also, sorry, my floors are extremely squeaky in my house, so you're probably gonna hear them squeaking as I move around. Um, this is my powders and my they kind of just like extra category. I have like a lip scrub, an extra mirror, a mini mirror in there, um, a carrying case for a beauty blender, an eyelash curler, some lash glue and some lashes. Then this is like my base drawer. So I have my foundation, my primer, my concealer. Then this is a mascara bin. That's all of my mascaras that I currently have. Then that's brows and then extra face products that don't fit anywhere else. So all of my brows are on the left there and then that's all of like, there's some extra blushes and things that are just a little too big to fit anywhere else. This is where primers and sunscreens usually live. And then this is my like daily use bin. So everything that I use almost every single day goes in there. So my current beauty blender, all of the products that I use every single day, if I'm panning a product, it goes there, things like that. This is where my highlighters live. So this is all the highlighters, except for the one that I'm using in my project pan. And then these are some mini eyeshadow palettes. But I will say the drawer itself and the actual bins are so gross. They're maybe well organized because I put everything back every single day, but they are so gross. So we're just gonna go through and we're gonna clean each of those because they desperately need it. Start with this. Um, I really need to clean my sponges. I need to clean those, but I'll clean those whenever I clean the brushes. So that's gonna be on my list whenever that is, um, but yeah. I think I might just take them all out, clean the drawer, and then I'll clean each of the individual bins as well. Yeah, I like that plan. Taking all of these out means I'm probably gonna have to re-clean the top of this too. <laughs> they just get a little gross over time. When I figured out the organization for this a long time ago, like in 2020, when I first got this desk, which by the way, this desk is from Ikea. It's very cheap. I think it was like 75 bucks. And I got it because the measurement of the actual desk fit this inlet in this apartment that I, that I lived in. It fit inside this inlet perfectly. So it was right in front of a window and I did my makeup there every day and it was lovely. And it was actually perfect. I loved it so much. I think I kind of like it better than even this setup. Um, I used to have my vanity out in my dining room actually, and then I moved it into this office and it was in my bedroom for a little bit. It kind of constantly has moved around. This might not even be its final resting spot in the office, we shall see. But right now this works, so I'm keeping it here for now. Just to give you kind of an idea of how gross it is, that is what the inside of the drawer looks like right now. Blah. So definitely gotta clean that.
All right, this is clean now. And so for the individual bins, I could probably find another way to organize everything. I could also probably get another vanity, but I really like this and it works for me. And honestly, I'm happy with it. So I haven't changed in however many years. Start with the primers. That should be the cleanest of them. I say that and it's still gross. I still do like the eyebrow and extra blushes and stuff. do mascaras next. I got most of these bins, by the way, from Target, like a million years ago, four, four or five years ago now. And the clear ones, I believe, are also mostly from Target. Maybe some of them are from Dollar Tree as well, but they're pretty inexpensive. Um, I don't really think you need to like go to the container store and give your life away for some containers. These work totally fine and they've worked for years and years and years and they fit perfectly. So I'm very, very happy with them. The base drawer next. And then the, uh, the random drawer, a random bin. And I'm actually going to take this lip scrub and I'm going to put it in my bathroom because I rarely use it here and I want it to have one in my bathroom. Eventually, wherever my vanity ends up living full time, um, I usually like to have it in front of a window and there's no window directly in front of here. I just really like to do my makeup in natural light, especially in the spring and summer. Um, but so whenever I figure out where it's going to live, I would love to put art up near it because I do love to have art and just like color. It's just good inspiration for doing makeup, obviously, and I miss having that. So Eventually, I will get to show you guys the final resting spot with art, with everything included. And I'm, I'm very much looking forward to that. You can see all the sponges I have that I need to clean. We'll do the highlighter little bin next and I gotta say it's so satisfying how these fit perfectly in here. This one is definitely one of the grossest. I don't even know how they get this gross. I think it's because sometimes I will sharpen things like over the drawer, open drawer, and then the, the whatever I sharpen gets in there. is also very difficult to clean it's just so narrow so close now my little mini eyeshadow palettes i used to have all of my eyeliners in this one um, before I had the little piece on the top there that can hold all of my eyeliners and that worked fine. I just like it better having them upright. It just is easier to kind of see what I have and I have a good amount of eyeliners. I think I have like 18 or so. So 
it's nice to be able to see the eyeliners that I have. And then finally, my everyday makeup drawer. When my Meow shade from my Too Faced Totally Cute palette that I am panning for my panless eyeshadows absolutely exploded, um, it got all over the inside of this. And so that is kind of the impetus besides the fact that this is just gross and needs to be cleaned. Really, like, I just had that eyeshadow everywhere and it's a dark purple. So it was getting all over my hands, all over my products. And I'm actually going to probably wipe down each of these products because it's going to be all over. Okay, with that, that is the drawer completely cleaned, so I can close this. All right, one final little look at everything. That is just my eyeshadow palettes over there, and they're pretty well organized for me. As you can see right below, that is all of my little makeup bags, and I eventually will be doing a video going through decluttering those um, and organizing that little section, but that is, again, not a today task. Otherwise, I'm very, very happy. It feels so nice and clean. I'm so excited to get up tomorrow morning and do my makeup. This space just makes me happy and definitely is my happy, calming space. So it's nice when it is clean and well organized. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you like this video, please like it. If you like me, please subscribe. Join me for those other videos coming up soon. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I definitely love watching videos like this. It's so nice sometimes to just watch someone else clean and organize their space. Very soothing, very satisfying. So I hope you enjoyed as well. Otherwise, I hope you're having a great day, week, month, year, wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, friend.